In fact, I might even email that company and say, you know, there's still a turd in my bloody cassette when it came yeah, out. Yeah, refund my money. She's not happy walking up here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Another beautiful morning. It's been a bit of rain in the night. It, a bit of rain. It didn't have come down. All right, a lot of rain. <laughs> Loads of people have gone this morning. Yeah, it's, people have stopped for the weekend, though, haven't they? But we're heading to the museum next door. You can just see the... 747 Jumbo. Yeah, yeah. which you can actually go in. It's right high up and all. Yeah. Boys get Catherine out on that it's wing. It's like a good 100, oh, yeah. 110 foot up. I don't know, maybe a bit less. Yeah, so if you stop on here, you get a discount, but we're not sure what the discount is till we get in there. It's the group discount on two full paying adults, whatever the group discount is. We'll let you know in a minute, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully it's a good discount, otherwise, it's 57 euros for us to get in. <coughs> yeah. So, if it's like seven quid, then it's fifty yeah. quid. That's it. It'd be nice if it was twenty quid. Yeah, oh. I don't think so. Oh, 100% percent off. <laughs> and we can confirm after the last talk to you about one of them. It's pants. It is crap. Because there's nowhere here to empty your toilet. So those machines are empty and clean it. Yeah. Well they sort of empty it. Yes. There was still something rolling around in the bottom of it after yeah. it came out, let's say. <laughs> So that's a rip-off. Yeah. In fact, I might even email that company and say, you know, there's still a turd in my bloody cassette when it came yeah, out. Yeah, refund my money. Yeah, well, yeah, that's... Yeah. I can understand it when we get 100% clean in there, but yeah. leave, a, leave a great turd in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> yeah, it's know. not on. It's rubbish. Yeah, um, it the guy that told us they were crap, I take it all back, because I said he says everything's crap. I agree. They are. They're crap. Yeah. So I shan't be using one again. <laughs> Well, we had to use it I'm here. I'm going to say, we've got no choice when we leave here because we've got to use it again to empty the toilet. No, we'll just take it full and go somewhere. All right. Oh, it's much quieter Gosh, today. Gosh, car park's empty this Because it was Sunday it? yesterday. A massive fair down the road we went there last night, That's didn't we? That's one of yeah. the planes that lands. Yeah, there's a little, little airfield down there. Looks like there's a few coach parties in. Yeah. It's alright, don't mind that. Car park's uh, empty, so that's a bonus. Yeah, I'm not sure if the museum entrance is <coughs> over there. I think it's over there. I think it is because that's where the start of it is. By the looks of it. That's down where, there. Yeah, I think that's Because that's, that's all be. gated in. We're gonna have to bring shades out. It's <laughs> blinding. I do like these though, it makes it look even more summertime. Yeah. Good with having filters on. It's a yellow what, filter. What were they about two quid off of TikTok? Oh my god. Yeah. Well, that's one of the coach parties. About 100 leaving. people coming in. Quick then. Yeah, I think that's leave. They're coming in. Coach they, isn't there. Uh, they might be just. It might be just like a coach park. Hopefully. Phew, they're going past. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it must be like a coach park. It's got a bunch mm -hmm. of noisy kids in front. Yeah, but we've got one here. Yeah, I don't think he's noisy, do you? Can be. Well, we've got a massive submarine there. Couple of others. Almost everything you can go in. Yeah, very good. Dakota, up there. Not sure what that other one plane is in front of it. But you can't mistake a Dakota. You see quite a bit without going in there. Yeah. Yeah. If you wanted a full tour experience, just walk around the outside. Yeah. Yeah, so if you come here, you also have to pay for parking as well. Mm -hmm. So you have to pay to get in and pay to park. Same with a lot of these big places though, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it's because there's towns there, you see, so people would come and park in here if it yeah, was free. So that, yeah, and then people wanting to visit here can't get parked. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the town is literally the other side of the edges, which we're going to try and walk around later on, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. Well, why not? Bit of a turbine there. Bit of a jet engine, Zach, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Cut out so you can see inside. Yeah. Cool. So actually it's more money to get in here, it was 59 but we've got a discount of 4 euros, yeah. so it cost us 55 Ooh, There you go, look, got a sticker as well. Oh, yeah. Tractor. <laughs> oh, right, what's left which way do we go? Through there maybe. Uh, Through these gates over here, I would say. 
Look at that limousines out. Nice. What is happening with this? There's a car under there somewhere. Wow, isn't it just? Look at that bad boy. That's cool. I want one of these. She's not listening. Wow, there's a lot in here. Oh, look behind you. Like that for your first cars, eh? Yeah. Oh, isn't that cute? Probably be worth about 300 pounds. <laughs> Don't need a windscreen wiper, look. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow, look at this train. <laughs> got a full train in here. Rocket car? Well, it's not really a rocket car, but it looks like it. That is a massive train. Nice. We should put this in so we can send it into something. You put one euro in it or something. Here we go. We've got a splitting. Look at this bad boy. Oh, put a euro in it. Oh, look. They get for free now, look. Everybody got a free show then after Catherine put a Euro in. Got a few Beatles here. Carmen gear down there. And one massive engine there. So it's not just aeroplanes. We're going this way round. Yeah. Oh, look at that mini. Look at this. I used to have minis when I was younger. Now that's a proper mini, isn't it? Zach? Oh, Not one of them modern. Well. <coughs> it's a Mini Cooper as well. Not yeah. like them BMWs of today. It's a proper mini. Proper mini. Yeah. Mark II. Hmm. Just got this whiff of petrol. Yeah. But it's a nice one. It's, it's an nice addictive smell, smell petrol. What? It's like a submarine with a torpedo. Yeah. Submarine with a torpedo. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a Fermeshi Smith 110, that. Quite a big wings. What does that mean? This was a bomber, I think, a 110. Information. I think it's just information. Right, it's down here, look. There you go, Junkers. I said it were a Junker. Mm. Junker JU52. Cool. One of the most famous. Well, I didn't originally say it was a Junker, I thought it was a Heinkel. Aunt Jew. Mm. The most famous aircraft ever built. First flight of this took place in 1932. Mm. Yeah, look at these. Opals. So these are the old Vauxhalls. Yeah. Opal Cadet, look. What did the Opal Cadet become? Vauxhall. Vauxhall Astra. Oh, really? Opal Cadet. Oh, the name was taken from the old one, I yeah. would say. But yeah, you wink, I think you still get Opal Cadets uh, over here. But our version is the Vauxhall Astra. And uh, you can't forget about the war and the emergency services, fire engines. Yeah. They don't really appeal to me much, but 
Obviously, this is they an American. They did their job, didn't they? They did. They had a huge job to do. Yeah, as big a job as everybody else yeah. had. Yeah, it's not very often you see a display like that in an, in one of these museums, is it, for the emergency services? Oh, what's up the stairs? We've got... This looks like it was built for tractor pulling, was it? Look at this vintage tractor puller. Yeah, right. Where they pull the sleds down the track. Cool. Ten cylinder. And another. Three engines together. So this one's got three engines. Three eight cylinders. This has got three V8 engines in it. <laughs> wow. But they've got oil spill trays underneath them. And on from the ceiling we've got a Sabre. Mm. And another pedal and pop look. I like that little box, that's cute. That's dead cute, that. Sat there waiting to be taken out for the day, look. <laughs> Hello, lady. <laughs> look at the size of that organs up up there. Oh, wow. My goodness. Mm. That's a Yeah. Right, like what like you can hear. <laughs> but... I'm a, a million times bigger. That's not a grand thing. From the famous Mesha Smith. That would have been uh, not something you wanted to see. Yeah. No. Flying over England. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Beautiful aeroplane though. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, that's, is that a red arrow up there? Upside down? Mm, yeah. It's yeah. got the British flag on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's upside down, it's... Doing acrobats. Right, we're going up. And then we'll go out and look at the outside stuff, eh, is that? Yeah. Oh, so you've got two floors to look at. Oh, it's like a model city. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's that big engine running. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, let's go and have a look out here. Look at the size of this Blimey. bad boy. Wow. It's a cargo plane, isn't it? Goodness me. It's, it's a cargo plane. It's Russian. It's an Antonov. Oh, oh I've got an F4 Phantom over there. I can see that from a mile away. <laughs> So we can go in the Antonov. And walk around it. To do a bigger one of these now, is that one that's even bigger? Yeah. Really? Yes. Wow. The one with six engines, this is only a four engine Antonov. Yeah. So they do one with a lot of engine more on each side, but it's just bigger. So we're going to take a look inside this uh, Russian Antonov. Look at the size of that boat here. Yeah. It's ginormous, isn't it? I don't know, I'm not looking that way, I'm just looking where I'm going. Yeah. Plenty of room in here. Wow. Have a party in here, look. Let's go and have a look up the front. So this is a bit tight squeeze through into the front part. I can't get up into the cockpit, I don't think. Oh, we might be able to. Ah, it's locked. Locked up there. So there is where the pilot and the co-pilot would have sat. And we've got a bit of a dish up there you can look out of. I think I'm a bit too tall to see up there. Let's go up. Look at the room you've got in here. Certainly transport some big items. When you stood in it you think, would this even fly? I don't know. It's amazing how these things even get airbound, isn't it? You can tell this used to have armoured vehicles, right? Because the middle's softer than the sides. It is, yeah. 
because obviously they weren't meant for you to run up and down the middle. Mm -hmm. They were meant for you know, to go mm. here. Imagine when it was flying being stood here. So we can actually go in this and the submarine up them stairs. But all this extra space, why haven't we got anything here? We're going to have to sew on. Yeah. Another yeah. <laughs> big uh, submarine across there. It's like a lifeboat, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. Search and rescue. Yeah. So it was only built in 1975, this. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that old, Looks it? in good shape. Yeah. Right, let's go up there. <laughs> She's not happy walking up here. It's all right. We're going to have a look around the ship first, I think. Yeah. That's where they'd launch the second boat off the back. Through there. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> it's a little bit boingy that bit, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's down there. Can't see through. Right, head inside the boat. Kathy needs to go on there, don't you? Yeah. Kathy <laughs> spotted washing machine. <laughs> I think it looks locked up. Yeah, so it is. It's a bit of a new washing machine. I reckon I can pick the lock. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's get me Grundy's clean. We can hang them out on Anton out the Market here. Antonov, can't we? <laughs> yeah. Back at Cargo thing, we can hang all those Grundy's out there. <coughs> it looks like proper cabins and bed there. There's some thing. men having their breakfast in here, they're quiet. Oh, I can go down. Yeah, that's you can see it. down there though, can't you? Is that like the engine room or something through there? Uh, can't tell. It's just a room. Oh, look, you can see here the entire boat. Oh, yeah, it's a scale model, yeah. Oh, we can get higher up here, look. Oh, Catherine says she's not going any higher. I'm just not really worried about it falling out and either you know, dropping a hundred thousand. Where does that go? It just goes down. It just goes down. Like and they've all gone down backwards, so it must be quite steep down. Yeah, I'm going down here. Yeah, you can go down forwards, but it's for safety you should go down yeah. backwards. The steps are. Wow, yeah, Jim, that's amazing. Look. Oh yes. Been noisy in there. Oh, wouldn't it just? We're ready to brave it. <sighs> oh, we've got the little oh. lifeboat on that end. Look. Catherine's stopping up here. Is oh, that look, it? You go yeah. down here and go up. Yeah. You have to Back up out there. Up. We're going to the U boat next. The oh, U line. Yeah. yeah. You're not good. I've got, I've got any choice. Have I? It's the only way down. Well, now you can jump off. Again, with forklift to come up and. <laughs> Just admire the view, that's all I do. It's cool down here, Zach. I'll stand here and help you if you want. Got all the to torpedo tubes in here. This is cool, Zach. I've been in a submarine before, I think they're ace. Size of them. So it's just me, Zach can't make it down, so we'll have a little look round in here. <laughs> Sink. Very tight round here.
<laughs> it's a ton <tongue> toilet. <laughs> oh, it's through to the engine room. Two engines side by side. Two big generators. There and there. And we can go back outside this way. That's a lot in here. You enjoy that? Yeah, it's just the stairs I don't like. These. They're alright. Wait till we get in that 747. There's that uh, extra launch boat. So the back comes down, holds away. Good size of this. <laughs> Imagine weighing that in. Get a few quid for that. <laughs> you. Uh, you can see the underside of the big boat we've just been in there, yeah. search and rescue boat. Yep. That must be a MIG. MIG 21. Look for speed, look. Yeah. It's forecast high winds later as well, aren't it? So yeah. um we're going, to, we're going to see if we can try and get out and get some shopping, but I can feel that wind picking up now. It's picking up, yeah it is. Try and get out to, um, there's a little, but it's like 26 minute walk, isn't it? Which yeah, it's a bit much easy. to be carrying back it's, the shopping back. It's bringing all the shopping back, mm. it's bringing all the beer back, it's my worry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that on the other side. That is huge up there. <laughs> And we, just ask them if they can lower it to the ground so I can have a look round I it. think this is an F-14 Tomcat, it's got to be. It hasn't got moving wings though, that's something that the F-14 has. It's an F-15, I was right the first time when I said F-15. <laughs> I, said, uh, I said it can't be an F-14 because yeah. the wings, on, on a Tomcat the wings pull back for yeah. aerodynamics. True. But that one doesn't mm. have room for them to But look at back. that bad boy up there. Me and Zach are going up to the 747, aren't we? Yeah. Kathy says it's a bit high for her. It looks it's like you can get a slide down. It's extremely high for me yeah. as well. Windy up here, isn't it, Zach? Yeah. Wow, should that underneath it. We've got to go up then to get into it. Yeah. Unless you want to sit here. Yeah. What do you reckon to go on top of the wing? Up there? I'm alright. You are, are you? Yeah, I'll go inside, but I'm not going out on that wing. You can go out. <laughs> the wings were not built for people to sit on them. No, they weren't built for climbing all over airplanes, were they? No, they were meant for you Spent to go some inside. some money on the walkway, though, eh? Yeah, but you think you get thousands of people through up here? Yeah, they could probably get like 30 or 40 so people up here at once. Go up there now. That's a climbing half, isn't it? Look how high up we are. <laughs> Oh, it leans a bit, doesn't it? Wow. You probably can't see it, but it's lent at quite an angle. Whew. That's weird to stand in with you leaning too much. Yeah. Look how closely you sit together. Yeah. This feels weird, we're leaning so much. I don't like it leaning so much, it's harder to walk up. It's hard to walk up and it feels like it's going to fall over that way. Yeah. It feels ever so strange. Don't look out them windows, Zach. No, I'm not. Or well, I have a couple of times, but I didn't quite like it. No. This is pushing my boundaries. You can't get through to the cockpit because it'd be through there. Or oh, it'd be higher up, actually. It'd be on the next one up. So the cockpit's on the next one up, but... But I'm not, I'm not fit for going up there, and also it's very, very... It's a hell of a workout, isn't it? Especially to see you've got to go up like two, three hundred steps just <laughs> yeah. to get up here. Yeah. Let alone then get up the next step I mean, and then up here. It's different to a normal museum when you're on the floor. This one's nice, but because you get the realistic thing of it being up in the sky, but it makes it a hell of a lot harder to walk around it. It does. Let's have a little look down the wing. Wow, that's a long way down. I 
think that'll do for me. <laughs> Right, after that uh, dramatic experience. workout, it was a workout, that's <laughs> what it was. Experience. It was a workout. I've actually seen the Blue Angels in the F4 Phantoms doing displays when uh, Finn and the Air Show used to be on near yeah. Doncaster. Some many years ago, in the 90s. So you're in for a treat now, oh. aren't they, Zach? Like? Wait, do so you see what's behind here? The Apollo Space Shuttle. That's cool. I have never seen one in person till now. No. Wow, it's the first for you then. Is it an Apollo? Because it's got Russian writing on it. Well, it said Apollo and Beyond. Yeah, it did say on Apollo On the side. And yeah, I suppose it is Russian then, maybe. I don't know. I'm not big into my space. And then that's a space pod thing. Yeah, Apollo stuff up there, look. Apollo, it's warm in here, isn't it? Well, that's the thing that lands on the moon. You can actually go up and have a look in the Apollo well, space shuttle. And it's sort of like a so just Russian program space yeah. shuttle. That's I'm not sure. Maybe. Well, Don't know the exact name of it. Oh my god, look at these steps. It's horrific, you know. Building up that plane. Yeah, I know. We've, well, it means Zach's had a big workout today. Well, it's all the different steps we've been up on all the aeroplanes. But not very often you see one of these. So this is what the inside of a space shuttle looks like. Hmm. I'm not standing on that glass floor. Nope. Oh, it's got a glass floor. Yeah. Cool. all the ceramic tiles. It's got some splits in it down there, they better not use it. Somebody's lost a glove as well. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready for a sit down I am. Or a coffee or something. Oh, see inside. Yeah, that sounds good to me. See inside the cockpit look. Mike, did you not like me? Kathleen don't like it one bit, look. She wouldn't have made it up that plane, 100%. She's walking like she's walking on ice. <laughs> oh, we can laugh, can't we, that? But we still like this glass. Oh, oh, yeah, what a machine this is. That's cool, man. It's that, what a machine. Catherine does not like heights, so she's gone for a sit down, I think. I think that I think I think that's her done for today with climbing. Uh, Did you love it? I think my legs were gonna carry me down them stairs, they nearly went. It looked like Bambi on ice at one point. I know. <laughs> this is where they actually filmed the moon landing there, look. <laughs> Turned all the lights off and did it there. <laughs> you haven't right. walked as far as me, come on. <sighs> come on, come on. I'm absolutely shattered today. This place is massive. It's incredible, isn't it? It's just, it's just all tons of motorbikes up there. Yeah. All up there. So I just googled it quickly, and apparently the Soviets stole the idea of the space shuttle and copied it, basically. Yeah. That's about as much as I've just read. They stole the idea. Yeah. I'm a little bit hot. Yeah, it's red hot in here. Proper warm, isn't it? Mm. I think it's kept the heat from the last few days because it has been really hot. And the doors automatically shut in there. They're like spring loaded, so they just shut on their own. Need some ventilation. Original lunar rock, 3.34 billion years old. So it's, so it's like a piece of rock. <laughs> but it's lunar rock, mm. as it says on there. You know what flavour it is? Looks like charcoal flavour. Charcoal flavour rock. The gift wraps this look when they went to mm. the moon. Make it look pretty. We got the aliens. Right, Zach says we're going to see the motorbikes. 
Mum don't want to go up. You some comfy chairs I don't, down, I don't mind the first one. Something a bit far for you. Yeah. Well, that's a bit fancy. Yeah. Isn't it? I don't want to be carried away dead in this. Wow. The Japanese hearse. The Japanese hearse? It looks like potentially a coffin carrier. Right, look to the motorbikes. There's a newer car sticky there. Up there. Yeah, these ones. <laughs> Pedal and pop. <laughs> Let's go and pedal and pop to the pedal and quickly. It's a quickie 51. Huh. That's nice at the back there. This is what we want for the van. With an old Vespa. Or a Lambert or something like that. Cool is that? <laughs> Two handle bars on this one. Wankle. 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 It's a wankle. Wankle it's a engine. Right. It's a wankle engine. Right. Rotary engine. I never knew they did one in a bike. Well, there it is. Huh. The Hercules. The Hercules Wankle 2000. Mm, there you go. Learn something new every day. Starry night. Back on for the sunrise. You're right, brothers. Who made, who made the first ever planes? Oh, wow. That's one of the first ones they ever made. 30 horsepower engine in it, look. Yeah. Chain driven. To propellers. And it was one where you had to jump off a ledge to get it running. You had to actually have speed. Oh, right. Before you could. Oh, look. That's how you get up. Yeah. One of the first planes ever made. Yeah, that's cool. Means I can come up a bit higher. Mm. Got like a, it's a satellite, is it, of some description? Some kind of satellite. Or is it a model on the space station? Because it says yeah. something about space station. Yeah, international drone station. International space station. That so must yeah. be like a model of it. Yeah, it must be a model of the space station. Oh, you can, this is where you can get out at roof. Oh, yeah. You can go outside, but it is absolutely blowing a gale out there. So I don't well, think we're going to just get worse and worse. We're not going to bother going out there because we're not able to film it. They've literally got everything in here. There's loads and loads of Star Wars stuff. It's literally like a good, like, one foot row of just Star Wars models. Motorbikes, planes. It's well worth the 50 quid to get in there. Yeah, we've been in here. It's probably like two hours. Over, over two hours now. Yeah. We're thinking about getting back to poor Boo Boo, won't we? Yeah, and there's something for right. everyone. Old bikes, old cars, new bikes, somewhat new cars. Space shuttles, planes, anything you need, anything you want to see. Some uh, old racing bikes from the yeah. 80s. Grand Prix. Yeah, Grand Prix Motor. Honda CB 350F from the 70s. Vulcan Est from 2016 here. The Underdog it's called. Nitrous injection bottle. Super sis. Mm. Ninja. Ninja. The next twelve. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. 12. And there's the beauty of all the Ninja H2R. Where is it? Yep, yeah, it's the H2R, not the H2. H2R. It's beauty. It's got some signatures on it as well. Yeah. I can need a few more bikes down this end. Oh, and some um, fuel, fuel tanks. tanks. Loads of fuel mm. tanks. You see them from right up at the top when you look down. Mm. I look down the side of the uh, building and I can see all them from right up at the top. Mm. But we think we need a coffee now, don't we? Yes. Catherine mm. said she oh, found somewhere mm. to find a coffee. Look at that funky thing. Two seater bike. This one's in for repair oh. up in the middle. Oh, that'll work. Looks like the one out of the monsters. <laughs> does, doesn't it? This one's on a spinning pedestal. Oh, yeah. Right, we're going to treat ourselves to a coffee out. Mm. And then sit down coffee. for an hour. <laughs> mm. Time for a well deserved coffee. Yeah? Mm. 
And we haven't had to make it ourselves. I oh, know. Not really warm. <laughs> Not a lot of coffee in it, is it? It's like cooling off with a nice ice <laughs> lolly, aren't you, mate? Mm -hmm. I've got to say, the Germans couldn't design a moped. That is one ugly moped, isn't it? God, aren't they? Oh, weird. Two-seater They're all two-seaters. You have to rely on the Italians to come up with a decent moped. Yeah. <laughs> they are really strange looking. Well, yeah, we've had this coffee and now we're heading back out. You go see Boo Boo. Go and see Boo Boo and get him yeah, out. that's it. Go for um, Mercedes. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that's beautiful, that, right? Mm. So we want to thank you all for tuning in this week. And hopefully we've got no sound issues in this one because we're, quite, we're about five videos ahead of oh where no. people said we've got sound issues and it seems to be when we're uploading them. It's really bothered us, hasn't it, weird. to know that yeah. they're not right. Because when we watch them back in the editor, they're perfectly fine, but as yeah. soon as they're on YouTube, there's a delay. And mm. I, I but because I'd not watched them online, it was too late. So hopefully... Well, we sat and watched the catalogue forward, didn't we, last night? Yeah. And they're all all right. So... Uh, Thanks for watching everybody everybody and thanks for sticking with us. Yeah, definitely. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. And here's a little outer thing to show you.